What is going on everybody? Thanks again so much for joining me this week. My name is Jeremy. I'm a motion graphics designer, animator, and 3D hobbyist. This show is an unrehearsed screen recording of my workflow and a peek into my journey to develop a deeper design skill set. Here it's not so much practice makes perfect, but more practice makes progress. This is The Drill. Before we get too far this week, I just want to thank everyone who has liked, shared, comment, subscribed uh, so far. It's it's really inspiring. I really enjoy the conversations that I've been having with a lot of those people that have been viewing. Please, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. It's uh, it's a great community we're building here. So. Without further ado, this week, what we're doing is getting into more X particles. So as you can see with my setup that I have right there, I am using an X particles emitter. I put a collider body on a sphere and what I'm trying to do is spawn particles right on the surface of the sphere. I wanted to wrap the surface and um, have them all kind of build and ripple out from the center. Um, if you're if you've been on Vimeo lately, there's uh, this awesome banner video that has this effect. I believe they used Houdini. Um, the guys over at Grayscale Gorilla covered this a couple weeks ago on their Twitch stream, uh, uh, Ask GSG, and this was a, a fun little experiment. Uh, it got me to use a little bit more of the collider and uh, dynamics tags in Cinema 4D. So what I'm using here is uh, particle on particle collisions. Um, and what I wanted to do is kind of branch it out from there. So you can start to see already there's these green particles here. What I'm doing is uh, spawning new particles on the particle collisions. So when these white spheres uh, collide against each other, they're actually exploding out and forming um, a various amount of spheres spheres from there so I think at first I was doing like 25 spheres it was just absolutely way too much so uh, in the final render I ultimately cranked it down but um, it's really fun you get in there and, and experiment with what these spheres do you do like really cool things like drop a particle down and have it explode on a surface maybe like a raindrop or, or and you know explode out little little or smaller part uh, particles off of that so um, there's really an unlimited amount of things you could do with X particles, and that's why it's been so much fun to experiment with. Um, I already have recorded next week's episode, which is not dealing with X particles, but more um, Cinema 4D effectors. So I'm excited to show that next week, and we kind of take a little break from X particles, but I know we'll definitely be back to it soon. So what I'm doing here is just figuring out a cool texture. I was actually looking at maps of uh, texture maps of planets, and that's actually where next week goes. Um, I did a, a cool little render with Mars so I was trying to get a, a cool um, like a frosty kind of surface uh, to this sphere ultimately I went with just a pretty basic black glossy sphere uh, trying to throw um, some more uh, spheres in the scene so that I could do this kind of orbit around the around our main sphere here and, and see what it looks like um, this project uh, it's really easy to get carried away with the amount of particles you have in X particles um, it's really, you're really just limited to what your computer can handle as far as processing and what aesthetically you're going for. Um, I got a little too excited with some black body emission textures on this, um, using just a traditional teal and orange, um, uh, you know, cool and warm lighting setup on the on the particles that are bouncing off of this. And I think I definitely went overboard. Um, it's really, really easy to go overboard with black body emissions. Um, things get blown out um, you can see here I'm when I'm starting to composite things in here it, it's it, it gets blown out it's just like way too much noise so as cool and as fun as it is to play with black body emissions I would not recommend it unless you have some narrative reason for doing something like this but but as far as compositing goes what I did here was I use a, a loop out expression to uh, flicker the opacity of those layers back and forth and I got this this uh, interesting strobing type effect uh, what I also did was added a, a glare effect um, it's actually not a, um, an effect per se it was it was actually a light leak pack that I bought you do a freeze frame on one of the light leaks and do that same kind of opacity flicker and it just adds a little bit more realism to the composite so with your projects in the future, I guess my takeaway from this week is really get in there, 
play around with X particles, see what you could do with it, see how many particles you can make. Maybe you don't want that many particles. You can see here, I think I have way too many particles. It's really cool how fluid they're moving, but with uh, the black body emission as the material on these, it's just way too much visually going on for me at least. Um, but you learn something from every project and you really have to experiment to figure out what's working and what's not working. Um, here is the render. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment down below. Uh, like I said, next week we'll be moving away from X Particles for a week, um, and then we'll see where we go from there. So thank you again so much for watching this week's episode. As I said at the top of the episode, please consider subscribing. I really appreciate um, all the support that I've been getting. So that is it for this week's episode. You know how YouTube works. Like, share, subscribe, and comment down below. You can follow me on Instagram and Twitch at Jeremy underscore Walker. That's J-R-M-Y underscore W-L-K-R. You can visit my website for updates or shoot me an email at Jeremy at JeremyWalker.com. Thanks again so much for watching. I can't wait to see you next week on The Drill.